More reactions have followed Tuesday's invasion of National Assembly by security operatives as the All Progressives Congress APC, has fingered Senate President Bukola Saraki over sinister plot to foment violence at the legislative chamber in a bid to stop his impeachment. According to the APC, in a statement by its acting National Public Secretary, Mr. Yukini Nabina, the presence of operatives of the Department of State Services DSS actually forestalled the violence that Saraki had planned to foist on the National Assembly on Tuesday. Calling on Nigerians to introspect on Tuesday's incident, the APC called to question Saraki's decision to reconvene the Assembly, which it termed a preemptive move to frustrate a move by federal lawmakers to impeach him. Also read, FG, APC to seek court order to oust Saraki, Ekweramadu, PDP stressing the need for investigation by security agencies, the party wondered why federal lawmakers of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, were present at the National Assembly, early, while their APC counterparts were having their caucus meeting. The statement read in parts, following Tuesday's incident at the National Assembly, our investigations have now uncovered the sinister plot hatched by the Senate President, Dr. Bukola Saraki to foment violence in the legislative chamber all in a bid to stop his impeachment. We are now aware that the timely intervention of the security operatives forestalled the planned violence, which could have led to possible deaths, injuries and destruction of property in the National Assembly on Tuesday. Why did the Senate President mobilize thugs to the National Assembly who almost lynched Hong E.J.? Agbon Erinma, the only APC federal lawmaker present but for the timely intervention of security operatives. Why did the Senate President reconvene the National Assembly? Ostensibly as a preemptive move to frustrate federal lawmakers move to impeach him. Is it not curious that only People's Democratic Party PDP federal lawmakers were present in their numbers to as early as 7 a.m., while the majority APC federal lawmakers were elsewhere holding a caucus meeting on the state of the nation? We call on security agencies and relevant bodies to as a matter of urgency probe these findings and take all necessary and legitimate action to stop these illegalities which pose a direct and ominous threat to our democracy, again. The party reiterated its call on Syraki to resign from his position as Senate President, noting that, he no longer has the moral and legitimate ground to occupy that position as a member of a minority PDP.